Hello, everyone. Good morning to you, and welcome to Christ Over Coffee. My name is Andrew Dixon, and I would like to welcome you to episode three of season two, entitled Celebrating Black History. Today, I am honored to present this reflection as we take time to remember those who throughout history have paved the way for many African Americans within the United States and even abroad. We at Christ Over Coffee and the Holy Spirit Missionary Sisters believe in the importance of interculturality and the importance of acknowledging, embracing, and accepting people from all walks of life. We want to take some special time today to get in the spirit of Black History Month to highlight just a few quotes from some very notable individuals within the movement for justice and peace. And so, Without further ado, let's get to it. Never be limited by other people's limited imagination. Dr. May Jemison, the first African-American female astronaut. I refuse to accept the view that mankind is so tragically bound to the starless midnight of racism and war that the bright daybreak of peace and brotherhood can never become a reality. I believe that unarmed truth and unconditional love will have the final word. Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr. In recognizing the humanity of our fellow beings, we pay ourselves the highest tribute. Thurgood Marshall, the first African-American United States Supreme Court justice. Hate is too great a burden to bear. It injures the hater more than it injures the hated. Coretta Scott King. Whatever we believe about ourselves, and our ability comes true for us. Susan L. Taylor, journalist 
and editor of Essence Magazine. My humanity is bound up in yours, for we can only be human together. Bishop Desmond Tutu. Hold fast to dreams, for if dreams die, life is a broken winged bird that cannot fly. Langston Hughes. If there is no struggle, there is no progress. The great abolitionist, Frederick Douglass. We all have dreams. In order to make dreams come into reality, it takes an awful lot of determination, dedication, self-discipline, and effort. Jesse Owens, world record-setting Olympic athlete. I have learned over the years that when one's mind is made up, this diminishes fear. Rosa Parks. Miss Rosa Parks. If we accept and acquiesce in the face of discrimination, we accept the responsibility ourselves and allow those responsible to salve their conscience by believing that they have our acceptance and concurrence. We should, therefore, protest openly everything that smacks of discrimination or slander. Mary McLeod Bethune. The best thing for us is not what we consider best, but what the Lord wants of us. If I were to meet the slave traders who kidnapped me, and even those who tortured me, I would kneel and kiss their hands. For if that did not happen, I would not be a Christian today. The Lord has loved me so much. We must love everyone. We must be compassionate. Saint Josephine Bakita, patron saint of Sudan. Black people in ages past have traditional ways of teaching the children to rejoice in grief, in adversity, in oppression, in slavery. It's that kind of joy that helps a person keep going in faith. My goal is to share good news. I want people to know that happiness is possible. Sister Thea Bowman. Dear brothers and sisters, as you go throughout this day in anticipation 
of the weekend ahead. Ponder, no matter who you are, no matter where you come from, the many steps, trials, and tribulations others have endured before us that have paved the way for the freedom and the rights that we have in this country. As we see whether in the news or within our own individual and collective realities, there is still much work to be done. But as we continue to stand in faith, we are reminded today that we also stand on the shoulders of those giants whom the Lord has been so gracious to allow to live, who have helped get us to this point in human history. May we this weekend ask God to strengthen us to be the giants that the future generation can stand upon. May the dream of racial equality and justice one day be realized. Thank you to those who have gone before us. Thank you for your many sacrifices. And may we never forget any of you. And thank you all so much for joining us in this recollection. Remember to celebrate Black history. And if you yourself are watching this video today and you want to know more about how you can be a part of what is going on here at the Convent of the Holy Spirit. We want you to give us a call today. Our phone number is 847-441-0126. Again, that's 847-441-0126. And from there, all you have to do is click zero and the operator will get you to the appropriate party. Also, if you would like to learn more about the history of SSPS, where we've been, where we are now, and where we hope to be in the future, we would like for you to visit our website as well today. And that is www.ssps-usa.org. Again, that's www.ssps-usa.org. And from there, if you have any questions, any prayer requests, we ask that you would click on the contact section and just leave us your name, your phone number, an email address that we can reach you and we will respond to that message as soon as possible. We're also 
on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. And you can find us at these various locations down below me. And all we ask is that you would like, comment, share, follow. If you see anything on our social media platforms that's encouraging, share it with a family member or a friend, even a co-worker, to brighten up their day. And until next week, remember, we're going to be walking this life one sip at a time. Thank you all so much for sharing. God bless you and your families. Take care and have a wonderful weekend. Bye-bye.